Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some exciting leaked details about Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. This is the next big thing in mobile chipsets, and it's expected to power the flagship devices of 2025. But before we get into what makes the 8 Gen 4 so special, let's talk about the problems it's likely to solve, especially compared to its predecessors. One of the biggest challenges with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and 8 Gen 3 has been thermal management. While both of these chipsets brought significant improvements in performance, especially especially in gaming and AI tasks, they also tended to run hot under heavy loads. This led to throttling, where the performance would drop to keep the temperatures in check. This was particularly noticeable in extended gaming sessions or when using demanding applications. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, with its new Orion architecture and 3 nanometer process, is expected to address this issue head-on. The smaller manufacturing process should result in better power efficiency, meaning the chipset can perform at higher levels without generating as much heat. This could lead to more sustained performance especially in high-intensity scenarios. Another area where the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 fell short was in its AI capabilities. While it was a solid performer, the demands for AI processing are growing rapidly. More apps and services are leveraging AI for everything from photography to voice recognition and beyond. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 introduces a low-power AI subsystem, which includes a dedicated DSP and AI accelerator. This means the new chipset will handle AI tasks more efficiently, delivering faster and more accurate results without draining the battery. This is particularly important as we move into an era where always-on AI features like smart assistance and contextual awareness are becoming standard in flagship devices. Connectivity is another area where the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is set to make a leap forward. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 offered solid performance with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.3, the 8 Gen 4 is raising the bar with support for Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and ultra-wideband. These enhancements will not only provide faster and more reliable connections, but also open the door for new use cases in smart home devices, wearable tech, and more. Let's not forget about storage and memory speeds. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 supported LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0, which were great for the time. However, as apps and games become more demanding, the need for faster data access grows. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 continues to support these standards, but with improvements that should translate to quicker load times and smoother multitasking, ensuring that your device remains responsive no matter how much you throw at it. Now, let's talk benchmarks. According to leaked data, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is showing some impressive numbers. On Geekbench 6, it scored 2 and 8, 8 and 84 in single core and 8 and 840 in multi core. For context, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, based on a collation of average scores across multiple devices, typically scores around 2193 in single core and 7304 in multi core. On AN2210, the 8 Gen 4 scored a whopping 3,700,269 compared to the 8 Gen 3's average of 2,054,380. These are significant jumps that suggest the 8 Gen 4 will offer not just incremental improvements, but a substantial boost in performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will likely debut in devices like the Xiaomi 15 and 15 Pro, which means we could see it in action as early as the end of this year. With these specs, it's clear that Qualcomm is pushing the boundaries of what mobile processors can do, and I can't wait to see how it performs in real-world scenarios. So, what do you think? Are you excited about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the latest in tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.